Hey friends, thanks so much for joining me for another tutorial. This was one of my absolute favorite um, pieces that I have ever made. I just love this mold so much. It just came out so beautiful. I did, um, this is a replica of another YouTuber's video. I will refine that video, link it for you guys in the comment. I think I did a really, really good job replicating it. Um, it's a fairly easy project. Um, really, um, I just used the something similar colors as she used and then um, a very similar pouring technique. But you guys, this is a must try, especially if you have this mode. So let me just go through the products that I'm using. The resin that I use is Peace Be Resin. I'll link that below. It's a one to one ratio. So that just means that you do equal parts part A, equal parts part B, mix it up for three to five minutes, depending on how big your project is. It's really easy to know once the resin is mixed properly because it turns very, very clear instead of like a little cloudy. After you mix, so I usually mix my resin in the measuring cup that you see here. Um, this is one of the first, um, I would say one of the beginning projects that I would make, that I made, um, just because, as you can tell, the measuring cup has black resin in it. I do not put color pigments, alcohol inks, or anything in my measuring cups anymore. I leave that clear for multiple reasons. Um, one... I like to leave a little bit of clear left over just in case something happens and I need to add another color to my project. Two, um, I like to reuse my reuse my measuring cup so it's easier if it has like um, just clear resin in it. So guys, what I'm doing right now is I realized at that point that I didn't put my project on um, on a mat. I am team small spaces just means that I work in an apartment and a really small space is a one bedroom apartment so I have to be as useful with my time and space as possible. This is just a kitchen counter and so whenever I'm working I try to um, once the project is done to move it to another space so that I can actually use my kitchen counter space and not just wait because um, these molds do take at least 24 hours to cure so right after I pour I usually just pick it up on the mat that it's on and then um, transport it to another part of my house where it can actually cure. So that is a really good technique if you're a team small spaces as well. Um, the next thing I'm doing guys is I, um, for this piece, I laid down the clear first, then I laid down the black. So that's going to be like my base colors, if you will. Then she said to just add the other colors as randomly as possible. No real technique, just, um, go for it. So then I added gold leaf to um, break up the white and clear I wanted to make sure it was on both and now I am adding um, this like yellowish gold color as well as this grayish color that'll be able to blend together to give it the effect that I'm looking for the great thing about this piece is that front or back came it's beautiful so I did not put um, handles in this piece and that's just because this is my first time using this mold I never really know what handles to put in I do make handles myself I do have a silicone mold to make handles that I usually use and then it's really easy to use because then you can just use the same colors that you did on your project to make the handles with I didn't do that for this partly I ran out of um, the colors that I was using or resin for this project but also I like to see a project without handles so that I can know what I can change the next time and so um, this mold is super versatile so you can use the front or the back as a serving tray and um, I'm really happy I didn't put the handles in that because of that fact so nonetheless a couple things guys so I actually have um, after the do molding video that's coming up here shortly I went ahead and included another clip of me making this project so I use two cameras for this project and so you can see both angles if you guys like this little added bonus definitely let me know in the comments um, if not completely fine I understand it's not that big of a deal but I did want to show you guys two different angles of me making in this just in case you weren't able to see the full project nonetheless thank you guys so so much for subscribing to my channel liking my videos commenting I love you guys so much um, I am going to go ahead and show you this demoting video I'll link all the comments all the materials I use below until next time guys